So hi guys and welcome back. What we will review today is this Quanum Elite uh, Race Band video transmitter. So what do we have here? Uh, this is a quite nice thing because it actually comes with this aluminium casing which you can see, which I'm pretty sure also acts as a heatsink. It has a nice display here, which we will turn on in just a minute. Uh, it's a 40 channel race band uh, transmitter, uh, uh, 5.8 GHz of course. It has an included and integrated microphone, which is pretty nice. And your usual push button control. Let's take that away. So yeah, so this is the, the beauty itself. You can see they just use this aluminium casing and in there there is a regular video transmitter. You can see the PDP here. And I do hope this, that they make use of this aluminium casing uh, as an additional heatsink because, well, as we saw in some of the last videos, those little <laughs> video transmitters get quite hot. They could need the additional heatsink, but well, does this add much to the weight? We will find out in just a second. Just let's take a look at what we have in the box. We have our usual cable here. Uh, this plugs in into the video transmitter, the white one here. Let me just focus this. Uh, yeah, there we go. The white one here plugs into your video transmitter. The JST is for the power. And here we have the video out and also some voltage for your port camera. And while we are at it, as you can see here, yes, there it is. This has an included BSC, this video transmitter, so it will support your camera with five volts here. So this is nice. And it will also accept a wide input voltage of seven to 20 volts. What do we have here? otherwise in this manual. So this is a generic manual. You can see there are several versions of this video transmitter. When it comes to milliwatts, we have the 200 milliwatt version here. Uh, you can simply press stop if there is anything interesting for you. SMA female connector, you saw it. It has full support for all 40 channels, including race band. And there is really not much left to this manual. It comes with the cable, it comes with your rubber ducky. And well, that brings us to the first part of our review. We will check the weight of this. After that, we will check its dimensions. We will check how hot this gets. And then we will take a close look at the RF power. Can this little guy really produce 200 milliwatts? Will it produce more? Will it be less? Stay tuned. So, enough for the choking or not? Tell me in the comments. Anyways, let's take a look at the weight first. And we can see this little guy comes in at 12.8 grams, which is not too bad actually given the aluminium case. Because why well, this aluminium case gives it quite a bit of robustness, I think. It, well, depending on where you mount it, it's nice because it has these two holes here to mount it. So yeah, why not? Next step will be its dimensions, of course. So we are talking here of a width of, let me focus that for you, of about 22 millimeters width, a length of 32 millimeters, and at the widest point we are here at 9.3 millimeters so that's not much more in size than other video transmitters without this uh, uh, aluminium case let's also take a look i think many of you might be interested so the holes here are about 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 so we are at the inner wall of these holes here as you can see and we are at about uh, 26.3 millimeters about we try to get to the outer part of these holes. Yeah, the outer we are about at 30 millimeters. So that could, will give you a good idea for when you mount this. So we have now hooked this little guy up to our 3S uh, battery here. Uh, we will leave this running for around 10 minutes in order to see how hot this get, gets. 
And then we will take a look at the temperature, something quite interesting here, while it's heating up I can't show it to you. So this doesn't have a display, like I maybe said before, but these are actually LEDs in there, as you can see. So the upper LED, the blue one, indicates which band we are on, F, E, R, R, A, R, P. They are always uh, well, having other names for these bands. Well, anyways, and the, the lower, the red LED, will tell you which channel you are on. And you can, of course, have your usual push button control, so for changing the channels here, and a long press will change the band. Yes. So we have left this running now here on the bench for about 10 minutes. I say this every time, my lights up there are all LEDs, so there is no additional heat from the lights. But we are still here at the bench, there is not much of an airflow, uh, so it will probably not get as hot when you mount it on a plane with good airflow. But well, let's take this as an extreme. Let's just, oh yeah, that's a nice temperature. <laughs> let's see what we get here. Okay. It's actually not so bad. It felt a bit hotter than it really was. We are here at 54 degrees, 57 degrees, 55 degrees. See here up front, 55 degrees. Yeah, so it's it seems that they really did what I what I what I uh, what I what I guessed before. So basically, that whole aluminium casing is the heat sink. You can see that because it's all the same temperature here. So that is actually quite clever. <laughs> it adds a bit of a weight, as you could see, but it works very well as a heatsink. So as you saw that these are 55, 53, you have here 55 degrees. That is actually not bad at all for a 200 milliwatts video. Uh, transmitter. As we saw in one of our last videos, well, those, these can actually go up to 80 degrees and more. So 55 degrees, 50 degrees is really good. So that was it for the temperature measurements. Now let's take a look at the RF power. Well, and here we go again. <laughs> so as you can see, similar to our, uh, our previous Cranium Elite, uh, uh, video transmitters, these give out much more, give out much more milliwatts than they are actually specified for. So this guy here, uh, we are starting here at band F with channel 1 and this one gives out 380 milliwatts. That's, that's, that's almost twice as much as they specified. So I'm almost believing that they might have sent me the wrong version because actually, as you can see here, well, no, actually, well, these come with 25 milliwatts, 200 milliwatts, and 400 and 600 milliwatts. Let's see if I got the right one. Yeah, yeah. So it's actually interesting. So this is probably the 200 milliwatt version. It just gives out much more power than expected. So let's go, enough with the talking, let's go straight to the measurements. We are here at band F. So the first band, band F, and channel 1 gives out 366. Channel 2, and we are uh, at 340. Channel 3, and we are at 316. Channel 4, 296 milliwatts. Channel 5, 277 milliwatts, so it's going down. Channel 6, 268 milliwatts. Channel 7 is at 251 milliwatts. And channel 8 of the first band is at 243 milliwatts. Let's switch it to band E, the second band. Just double check this, yes. And channel 1. Band E, the second band, channel 1 gives us 410 milliwatts, twice as much as advertised. Channel 2 gives us 440 milliwatts. Channel 3 
is at 458 milliwatts. Channel 4 is at 475 milliwatts. It's, it's fluctuating a bit actually. Just keep it. Yeah, 475. Channel 5 is at 235 milliwatts. So there's always a bit of a drop here. Also for the last band when it gets to channel 5 and above. Channel 6 is at 220 milliwatts. Channel 7 is at 213 milliwatts. And channel 8 of the second band of band E is at 206 milliwatts. So let's switch to the band A. That's the third band. Double check this here. Yes. Channel 1 of band A is at 243 milliwatts. Channel 2 of band A 259 milliwatts. Channel 3 is at 277 milliwatts. Channel 4 at 286 milliwatts. Channel 5 at 305 milliwatts. Channel 6 at 328 milliwatts. And channel 7 at 353 milliwatts. And channel 8 it's at 380 milliwatts. So let's again switch the band. This time we will switch to the band R. So we are at channel one of band of the band R, and we are at well, 458 milliwatts. Channel two of band band R, 425 milliwatts. Channel three, 366. Channel four, 328. Channel five. 286, channel 6, 259, channel 7 at 235, and channel 8 of the R band, R, like the pirate, uh, channel 8 of the R band, uh, 220 milliwatts. So let's switch it again to the last band, which is the B band. Channel 1 of band B, 366 milliwatts. Channel 2, 340. Channel 3, 316. Channel 4, 296. Channel 5, 277. It's going down again. It's the same with all bands. I'm not sure if you noticed. <laughs> Channel 6, 268. Channel 7 is at 251. And Channel 8, it's at 243 milliwatts. So what can we say about this little uh, video transmitter? Some very nice ideas. So antenna position to the app. Well, this is something you have to, to, to clarify with how you build your model. The aluminium casing is very nice that it, it serves completely as a heat sink. Uh, the displays are very nice to read. So it's also not too heavy. It's a quite nice video transmitter, which again, <laughs> as for the previous ones, outputs much more power than specified. As long as you give it good airflow, this shouldn't be an issue. So actually you get more than you pay for. <laughs> so that's a good thing, right? <laughs> well, I hope you liked this video. I hope you liked, like my channel. Please subscribe. Please leave a thumbs up. And I'm looking forward to see you next time.